Hello, welcome to this, uh, the first video that we are ever going to do about a heads-up display system uh, that we've tested. Um, I'm going to talk to you predominantly about this unit here, which is on my Shoei X-Spirit 3, uh, and this is the NuViz. Uh, heads up display system uh, and MSL was very lucky uh, in that we were invited to be one of the first seven people uh, outside of the factory to um, to ride with it. I've done 2,000 miles using a new viz at the moment uh, and I've got to say it's brilliant. Uh, I'm the biggest skeptic going if, if you've read any of the stuff I've, I've written in MSL or seen me before you'll know that a piece of tech really has to earn its stripes because I, I, I don't like stuff bolted to the side of a helmet unless it works. Uh, I'm about as sympathetic to tech as, a, as an orangutan with a hammer. Um, it's got to be simple. Um, and if it starts cocking up, then I, I ditch it really, really quick. Um, I've done 2,000 miles with this thing, and quite frankly, I don't want to go back to riding without it. Um, I'll run through what it is in a moment, but the one question I've been asked time and time again since I've been riding with this, which is just over a week now, is, um, you know, is it a gimmick? Does it feel like a gimmick? It's just a gimmick, right? It's not. For the first five minutes, it's a toy. And what you're doing is you're scrolling through and you're looking at the little screen that's projected and, you, you know, it's all very um, futuristic, very street talk. Um, that's an old reference. Um, but five minutes in and it becomes a tool and that's completely different to how I thought it was going to be. Um, I say I'll run through everything in a moment and Gary the cameraman um, is also Gary the editor and he will edit in bits from NuViz's own uh, filming of the technology and the graphics through this. So you will see what we see as we ride. Um, we'll have to do it that way round because it's very difficult to explain what you see as we're here right now. It really only works to, for your eyes when you're inside the helmet. But we'll run through the basics of it. So this is the NuViz system here. You can buy them direct from NuViz, uh, and in a very short period of time, they're gonna be out uh, on sale. Uh, this is a, a final, almost pre-production version that we rode in. Um, but it will look like this when it comes out and, it, and the actual production versions uh, will evolve a little bit further in terms of what they can do uh, but I'll tell you where we are with this right now so this is the unit it's, it bolts basically it sticks onto the side of a helmet you can see hopefully there uh, quite simple um, this is where I say oh it's dead simple to get it on and off and I can't do it uh, because I'm trying to talk whilst I'm doing it but it is quite simple to get on and off I will do this you will you will slide off. There you go. So that's the base plate there. Very simple. Uh, and you would normally connect your uh, speakers and microphone that you get with the kit into your helmet and away you go. Very, very simple. This is the back of the main unit. You can see there's the connection here, a uh, bit of fins on there, and it's just one solid unit that slides into position. Whilst it's off the helmet, I'll run through this part here. This is the screen that you look at, so you get an idea of the size. If I hold my thumb next to it, uh, pretty average size thumb, uh, you can get some sort of idea there of the size of it, and that's what you see. You look at this part, which is outside the visor. Um, if I tip it, Gaz, tell me if you can see inside that okay out there it's not turned on at the moment but in there if I turn it to the side you might be able to see a bit better there's like a projection um, bubble almost in there that is what, where the screen is projected from and it projects up onto this bit here so it gets turned around with a projection onto here so that when you look at it through there it's all the right way up a uh, bit hard to explain but if you imagine it's projected up and then it's sort of bounced round and it comes out so you're looking at a live screen that's connected to your phone um, and uh, it works in fairly independently as well. This unit has a built-in GPS which is superb. I'll just mount it back on. I was going to do that without explaining. So it's just two bridges. They just slide on there. Very, very simple. Slide it down and it just clicks into place. That's it fitted now. Uh, it's battery powered, rechargeable battery. Um, I've uh, recharged it once um, in uh, 2,000 miles. Uh, it was on for the majority of that time. I wasn't using it all that time. Uh, and you can turn the screen off. So if you're just listening to music or whatever as you're touring, you turn the screen off, that does save the battery. The NuViz guys told me that the screen is the biggest battery sapper, just like on your mobile phone. 
So if you want to extend the battery life, just turn it off. And I was, as I was coming back from a, a big trip, uh, turning the screen off when I, A, I didn't need my TomTom, -tom, didn't need my sat nav, didn't need the maps that are loaded into the system. Um, just listening to a bit of music, I just turned the screen off. So that preserved battery. But I've charged it once in 2,000 miles to give you some sort of idea of length of time uh, that I was riding. Um, so that's the unit that goes on the helmet. There's really, that's all I can really show you about it, other than it has a camera on the front. You've probably seen that. You can move the camera around, you can position it slightly, you can adjust it up and down. Um, which is fine tone, you might be saying, but uh, if we do that, how do we know where it's pointing? Here's the beautiful thing. When you activate the camera on this system, you get a live screen showing you what the camera's looking at in here. So whilst you're looking at the screen floating in front of your visor, you can then just adjust the camera to be absolutely spot on where you want it. Uh, this takes stills, and uh, they, as soon as they're taken, they're imported directly to your phone, straight away in a, in a folder that Nuviz creates in your gallery. Uh, video is recorded to a, an SD card, just as normal, and you can download it from there. Uh, 8 megapixel camera, I think 1080p on the video, um, but we'll double check that, I think it's 1080p on there. Um, the video, the camera is very, very easy to use. Uh, I'll show you that on the hand, uh, the hand um, unit in a moment. Um, but for me, not a gimmick. It's, like I said, it's hard to explain because it just sounds like it should be a gimmick, but on this, on this screen, you get various um, screens that you can scroll through. And there's one for music player, one for maps. You can program your ride on your phone in the app, and then it will just, you can ride that ride. Uh, it's got speed alerts on it. It tells you when you're a certain percentage over the speed limit, um, and you can change that to be wherever you want to set those parameters. Um, you can make phone calls, you can see your contacts list in there, uh, you can see the log of your last several calls. So you can make phone calls while you're on the move very, very easy, and your hand never has to come up to here. Uh, if you want to adjust it, if, you, if you're saying, yeah, it looks a bit loose tone, I'm not 100% sure of where it would be in terms of my eyes, well, um, this moves, so you can go backwards and forwards, you can adjust it. If I turn that sideways, guys, that might help. Um, so if you, you can rock it forwards and you can rock it back and then you can turn it in, you can turn it out like that. Um, and that's great. I'd rather have it like this because when you're putting your helmet on, you can knock it um, just through putting your helmet on. So it's very easy when you've got it on, when you've got your helmet on and you, you're comfortable then to just adjust it to the position that you want it to be in. And you're looking inside that. So that's the, that's the like I say, that's the screen that you're actually looking at there. Um, so once it's on, you don't have to touch it. Once you're happy with this and happy with the position of your camera, it's a self-contained unit. If you want to change or scroll through everything, you use this. This is mounted to my KTM 1290 Super Duke GT uh, for this year. This is the hand controller. Um, and uh, it, basically the center joystick, I guess we could call it, selector, you operate with your thumb uh, and it goes up or down, dead simple. There's a top key and a bottom key and these are used for various things within the Nuvis system, but on each screen, the top key and the bottom key where applicable have different meanings. So on the music screen, if you want to play, it's the top key. If you want to advance a track, it's the bottom key. But it's very easy to read the icons on the screen. So um, you don't really need any instruction manuals with this. If you want to take a camera, uh, if you want to take a picture with the camera, sorry, or some video, you press and hold um, the camera um, uh, button for a couple of seconds and on the screen you see the camera wake up, turn itself on. Um, and then if you want your sound, uh, sound uh, notifications for your trip, your sat nav from the live maps that are loaded into the system, just press this button here at the top. Um, and it's fantastic, so easy to use on the move. Um, because this is the KTM and I have the control panel underneath for the various electronics on the bike, this is raised up slightly. Um, but still very easy to use with your left hand. Uh, you obviously just let go, um, and you can reach some of these like this, but what I found I was doing was letting go completely, put my fingers underneath, because we were riding at pace, uh, and then whatever I wanted then I could just do this. It just steadied my hand whilst I was riding, uh, and I could turn it on, do that sort of thing. The way you turn this on is, you press this, um, there's the, there's the on off switch there, the power switch. So I press and hold it, and there. Uh, you may have seen in the screen it just flashed very 
very slightly, that means it's on. If I turn it now towards Gary, tell me if you can see the screen, guys, it will be upside down. The text is a standard American style, you know, um, if you use this, you accept the responsibility, blah, blah, blah. So we'll click on a button, any button, and that should change. Gary's gonna have to tell me if it changes now. Has yep. it changed? Yeah. Cool. Right, so now you can see the screen. So now if I scroll through using the center button on the handheld, on the, on the, the hand control, scroll up, you see it's changing? Cool, so these are the different screens that you can do. And you can see the scrolling function is wonderful on it, uh, all the way through. Can you see which ones they are, guys? Because yep. it's- Music okay. calls. Music calls. What's that? Rides. Rides. Okay, um, so that's the that's the new vis really. Uh, Six hundred and ninety nine euro. It's going to cost initially, um, and you buy it direct from new vis themselves. So uh, we'll put a link uh, in the articles in Motorcycle Sport and Leisure, Motorcycle Monthly, etc. Uh, we'll make sure it's on more bikes as well. Um, but for six hundred ninety nine euro, it's in the realms of a new helmet. Um, yeah, it's that sort of price range. If you aren't desperate for a new helmet and you've got 699 euro, um, I really recommend it. It's, 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 how can I put this? Put it this way, on the other side of my helmet, my helmet looks like it's getting a nice collection now of um, guff, some people will say on the outside. Um, this is the Senna 10C. Um, and I love this to pieces. This is always with me on every ride. Great camera, easy to use, good Bluetooth, get music on it, make calls, etc. But you have to learn the, the button combination. Not a, not a terribly difficult thing to do. You learn them pretty quickly and you can use it. Um, the new Viz, this new Viz is actually connected to this via its Bluetooth. So we've set up a protocol where this can talk to this and I'm listening to everything and I'm talking on the microphone that's the center stuff. So you can do that if you already have a Bluetooth on there that you really like. Um, this changed my motorcycle life in a way I never thought was possible in that to have that ability to have music when I wanted, to take photos and footage easily without having to stop to do any of that stuff. Um, and of course, when you don't want any of that, turn it off and you're just having a great ride with no interruptions um, or to make or receive phone calls. This changed my motorcycle life in that way. This has taken that change and just elevated it onto the next level. Um, I've never subscribed to the idea of head-up displays. I was quite sniffy about them uh, up until the point where I used this one. And now pff, I am a convert of the highest order. So I really recommend um, trying one. I'm sure that dealers uh, around the world will eventually get their hands on new Viz when it works its way into retailers, or you can find somebody who's got one to try out for yourself. If you can, do it. Really recommend these things. Um, on the way back on our trip, we came through some biblical rain um, and it was horrendous. You couldn't see 20, 30 feet in front of you some, in some cases. Uh, and my new Viz, absolutely fine. No water in it, no steam, no nothing. It was working perfectly all the way through. Um, I have had one issue where it wouldn't talk on the Bluetooth protocol to my Senna, but I went into the app, told it to talk to the Senna, which is just an icon based uh, app, very easy to control. And I just basically had to tell it that that, that Senna was a Bluetooth friend again uh, and connected back up, so no issue there. So that's it, that's a world's first ride with the Nuvis heads-up display system. Uh, really recommend it, 699 euro, you buy them direct from Nuvis. It's a lot of money, it's a lot of tech, it's effectively a smartphone on your helmet, um, and it's way less gimmicky than you would think, it's a far better tool. Uh, on roads that you don't know, you can scroll out of the live maps, you can scroll back, so you can change the view of the road that you that you have. And I was using it coming through mountain passes. I was pulling back and using it to tell me what was coming up after the next blind bend. Um, and it adds to your confidence. It makes you feel safer. Um, you still got to ride. You still got to have your brain switched on. You know, we're not idiots. We're motorcyclists. We we know what we like and what we need. This has a lot of what I need, and I didn't know that I needed it until I had it in front of me. So I really recommend it. That's the Nuviz heads-up display system. Thanks for staying with me through this, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for plenty more.